Feelings of stress or anxiety might be overwhelming at times, but some volunteers in our community are looking to take all of that away. News for us, Abby Fridman shows us the benefits therapy dogs can bring to you and your health. Abby. Hi, Jake. I miss you. They all want to pet them. Look at that face. <laughs> if you've been at the Buffalo Niagara Airport on a Tuesday or Thursday, chances are you've seen Jake and Maya roaming through the terminals with Al and Michael not far behind them. I love sharing my dog. He, he's so he's so wonderful. He's great with people. He's great with kids. People love him. Jake has a bit of a reputation. The one girl at the bar here calls him the mayor of the airport. <laughs> And Maya does too. Jake's girlfriend. <laughs> the two of them met here. The four-legged friends take their daily walks through baggage claim, doing what they do best. They're here to basically de-stress people. They come up, go up to passengers, they go up to staff. Hi guys. Someone came to visit. It's not uncommon for golden retrievers to be therapy dogs. Pamela Rose with Therapy Animal Western New York says any breed can qualify, but having a calm personality is key. Bernese, golden retrievers, and Labradors are famous for having a personality that lends itself to that. Which is exactly why her dog, Sophie, is such a good fit for the program. <laughs> Sophie just oozed calm through, from every hair on her body, you know. Sophie stops by the University at Buffalo to help students and staff unwind. Between exams, deadlines, and mountains of work, Sophie is a welcomed comfort to many. It's incre incredibly gratifying to see the students sit there just almost hypnotized, you know, getting such satisfaction, and you can see them visibly relaxing. While on the outside you might smile, internally these friendly pups can do a lot of good for your health. Just petting an animal has, there's studies that show it reduces your blood pressure. It makes the endorphins come out in your body and it just helps to relax you. Just that simple act of just doing this. Over his past nine years, Jake has provided some significant support to those in the community. We've done 20 funerals now. When Officer Lanier passed away it was a couple years ago, the funeral home was looking for some therapy dogs and we volunteered. And since we did that, they were so impressed. They, they offer these service dog, therapy dogs for anybody that gets laid out at the front home. And Maya has been a source of joy to some on their darkest days. There was a lady sitting over in JetBlue all by herself. And I walked by and she asked me if she could pet the dogs. And I said, sure. And she started petting Maya and she started crying. And she looked at me and she said, I don't mean to cry, but she's really making me feel good. I'm a victim of domestic abuse. She showed me her arm and she had gotten beat up that morning by her husband. It's a job Jake, Maya, and Sophie are meant to do. And it's rewarding to their owners too. That made this program to me worth it. It was a really good feeling. Before the pandemic, Pause for Love had around 600 participants, but now they're down to about 200. The SPCA serving Erie County says they're always looking for volunteers. We have more information on that on our website, wivb.com. Abby Fridman, News 4.